Welcome back to the Coach Frenchy Travel. Today, for my episode number two, I want to share with you guys 10 things you need to know before you decide to move from one country to another country. On my case, I'm moving to Thailand. I'm going to share with you 10 different things I have to apply to be ready when I'm going to be in Thailand. But before we start, guys, we invite you, don't forget, please, to subscribe. Click on the bell for notification, sharing this video with your friends or your member or your family. And then, of course, click on the likes. And then, after the video you watch below, leave me a comment. I will do my best. But, Coach, what are you doing? Why do you do that? Well, first of all, guys, uh, I want to inspire people with this channel. I want to maybe to maybe have some people out in my same situation like me, or they are thinking to travel with their member of the family and maybe visit the other location around the world. And this channel, it is all about March 2020. All of us, you, me, we got COVID situation. For the last two years, over 24 months, I did not figure out what I want to do more. And then, of course, I start another channel and invite you to join this channel. It's called the Hockey Initial Live Show. It's about hockey. But I said, look, I'm missing something. I want to make more. I want bigger. And I decided, you know what? Maybe it's time in your life, at your age, to maybe travel. And I decide that's maybe what I'm looking for. And I decide to take action. August 2022, this is the time to move from USA to Thailand. For 25 years, I live in USA. Great, amazing time. I have no regrets to leave from Canada, leave Canada to USA. But I think now it's time to go to another country. So here's my 10 things you need to know and you need to do to prepare if ever you want to move to another country. The first thing is the visa. They have a many different visa talent offer for people under 49 years old and over 49 years old. That's really the age is split. At below 49, there are all kinds of visa. You can teach over there. You can start business. You can help the, the country of Thailand become better. That's what they're looking for. Over 50, it's all about more about the retire. Most of the visa. Now, the different visa, you can go if you live in Canada or you have citizenship of the USA, Canada, or many other countries, you can go easily with no visa for 30 days. You can extend to 60 days. During COVID, it was extended to 90 days. But look what I heard from June 1st. They are moving now, drop back at 60 days. Secondly, you have to follow up with all the, requ uh, the requirements because every day they can change. So it's important when you apply for the visa, always checking until you not accept what is the requirement. So you have two ways. You can do it by yourself or you can hire someone helping you to have the right visa or to stay in the Thailand. The second thing I want to talk about, of course, is the location. Thailand is not small. Like Thailand is, you have a lot to offer. Bangkok, one of the biggest cities in the world. You have Chiang Mai, North, where it's more about mountain, hiking. It's really amazing. Then you have a South. You have Phuket. Then you have Pattaya. And Phuket is on the Southwest. And then you have more like Pattaya. It's really um, it's a bit like the Gulf of Mexico, like Louisiana and Mississippi and Alabama. The Gulf of Mexico, that's what Pattaya is, a little bit like um, Thailand, it's like a half moon right there to the south on the water. That's what it is, Pattaya, right now behind me on this background. So I just want to share with you. I decided to move there. John Bien could be another city, but I really believe I want to go there. But when you get a place, you have to figure out where to live, what kind of the location you want to sit on. At the beginning, I suggest you guys to get an Airbnb because maybe you can stay there for one week and then looking for better, figure out what kind of condominium you want to rent or maybe a house uh, if you want to live on that area or the another area, if you want to stay around close to the food market or the city to have more parties, everything like that. It all depends what you love to do. I want to stay on the beach. So what I'm going to do, me, I'm going at the beginning, have maybe a condominium on the beach or get Airbnb and go from there. 
Again, my visa is not completely done yet. I'm still working on friend three option. What will be done? I'm going to give you a little bit more information about that. There. Thirdly, it's about insurance. You need to get a minimum of ten thousand dollars insurance. What it is? How much is it? It's easy. It's about ninety bucks for the period you're going to be in Thailand. So it's not very expensive. If you want a little bit, you are a little bit older, maybe to get another kind of insurance, but the minimum to go to N3 and the country is $10,000 USA uh, for your insurance. Uh, the number four, it's not my budget. It's about my, the financial, we talk about, but the money at the bank. If you want to carry on some money, what is the currency over there? $1 is about 30 baht Thailand. So you need to know, first of all, the money, how this works over there. Then you need to figure out also how you can move in your money from this bank and over there by using maybe your card, all right? What is the fee? Thailand charge some fee. It's a little bit more expensive. It could be from $3 to $9. You need to take information about that. Now, it depends on visa you're going. If you stay there for one year, you can also get, you can open a bank in Thailand, that's something I would suggest to do. I'm all learning with you like right now. I'm in the process to see everything, what I can do. Then your credit card. You have to tell them every time you use your credit card, you're going to pay more money. Your fees going to be expensive. So pay attention about your credit card over there. That's something. And then how you can changing uh, your money without no fee. They have Schwab's. It's really good about that. Possible to open a, 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 an account with Schwab's and they don't charge any fee nowhere around the world. That's something you can maybe take information about that. I'm just sharing with you. So financial is really important uh, for your credit card, for the bank, the money you can get from them and carry on some money. The transportation, what are you talking about? I'm not talking about the, the, the plane. I'm talking about the transportation over there. Example, Pattaya. I'm traveling from Miami to Bangkok. Now for Bangkok, I have to go to Pattaya. How did, can you go there? Is it by train? Is it by bus? Is it by plane? There's all those options they're offering over there. Your transportation over there, how does it work? Example, the subway or the train they use over there. The bus they have. Uber, that's friend over there. The taxi over there. Those kind of information is really important to figure out because you can, if you're tourists, they will use possible to charge you more. So take information about this. So they have different kind of transportation are better. I'm not sharing it with you right now here before you're traveling to another country. The next one is about your phone. Of course, you don't want to change your phone number. So you want to keep your phone number. How this works? Yes, friend ways. Uh, you can apply. You have a company it's called AluFly. You have a company you can also to get an eSIM card, put on your phone and uh, using this. Depends on your service you have. I'm uh, with uh, Sprint T-Mobile now where they can give you a uh, free access over there to use uh, text message, everything like that. Now, you can easily use, example, Skype, WhatsApp to reach your people. You can keep your phone number over there. You can also buy a service in Thailand if you stay there for a long term. Take information from your service or your phone you have right now, and the plan, everything, and then you have to take a plan also when you show up at the Thailand, what kind you can uh, much fight about that. With the phone, you have internet. The internet over there is amazing. Speed is amazing. Now, you need to figure out now with internet what kind of plan you can put. And also, if you do a YouTube channel like me, you can maybe uh, express to get a VNP number. You turn that. Those information uh, you should take care or to know before you go to Thailand. The next one is your budget. What are you talking about? But you need to figure out what is your budget per month. The cost of living in Thailand is really cheap. But you need to figure out for yourself how much you want to spend because you can live in Thailand for about 1000 per month, include everything. But you can also live in Thailand a little bit better or you want to spend $2,000. You can spend $3,000, you can spend 4000 if you go out every night, whatever you want to do. But you can live in under 1000 pay internet, everything like that. That's easy over there. But you have to learn about this. What's the food market? What, what you, so you, you need to prepare a really good 
budget. Your where do you stay? How much you pay per month for your apartment? Example, your Airbnb or the condominium, right? And then you budget about your transportation. How many times you can you take your taxi or the Uber or the little go to go and all those information. The food per day. You can eat below five dollars per day. Three meal. Then I will say to you about the food. Be careful. It's spicy over there in Thailand. Budget wise is very important. The next one I want to do, it's I learn uh, from others. What are you talking about? I study Thailand a lot by watching a lot of YouTube channel like you do right now with my video, with the, this channel. I learn a lot from many people around the world live in Thailand. I study a couple of countries, Thailand, Malaysia, India, Philippines, possible Bali at some point. I'm going to go to Bali at some point too. But those countries is really what I want to be for the next couple of years, if I can. All depends my health and the visa I'm going to get and all the requirements. It's something we have to follow up. But I hope I can get out in August. So learn from others, their experience, the good, the bad, and the ugly. Because it's not always been great, right? It's not always to be on the beach, the sun, and life is great. You have other, you know, other things you don't expect. You need to find out over there. The next one I want to, sh to be sure, <laughs> you have to buy your plane tickets. You cannot go there with no plane ticket. So shopping, go on a website, go shopping. Skype, Scrapper, Booking, you know all those. I'm sure you did your trip, but buy your plane tickets. Some visa are going to require to go in and go out. Some we said not necessary. So those kind of information you need to know. It's take about for me, Miami, it could be for 20, 18 to 23, 24 hours. Finally, the last one, the language. Well, of course you need to learn the language, buddy. This is very important to learn language. You don't need to learn a lot of words, but a couple of more. You need to learn something, it's very important to learn. For the woman, it's ka, K-H-A. And for the man, it's krab, K-R-U-B. Every time you say satawi, you need to add the words ka or you need to, word, to add the words uh, crab for men. Amazing problem with my, the language. Hopefully translation going to work, but I can wait to see that. I've been there. I moved from Canada to USA with no English. I have so many adventures I can come to you, but it would take too long. But I can I can wait now to speak uh, Thai. So listen, guys. This is my list of 10 things you need to know before you leaving to another country. So I did most of them, still had to readjust, but I can wait when they become complete. When I was said, it's time to go. I'm going to bring to you back with now with my another episode. Uh, hopefully you enjoyed this video, guys. Don't forget to share with me what you think, but don't forget also to subscribe, click on the notification and the bell. And finally, of course, uh, Leave me a comment below this video. Until the next time, I want to remind you one more thing. Of course, you have greatness inside of you. Have an amazing, great week, everybody. Mm -hmm.